President Uhuru Kenyatta has reiterated his government's commitment to the ideals of the United Nations Environment Program, as his father did when it was headquartered in Kenya in 1972. And in honor of this, he says Kenya will keep the environment in mind as it strives to achieve its development goals. Kenya will play its part in these deliberations since these are important matters for us. We have laid out ambitious plans to eradicate poverty and inequality and to become a middle-income, newly industrialized nation by the year 2030. These plans are ambitious. They have to be, for indeed our own opportunities are unprecedented. Never in history have technology, capital, and demand for goods and services been so widely distributed. By 2030, what was once the developing world will account for 60% of global GDP. President Kenyatta has also called on the governments represented in the United Nations Environment Assembly to give the illegal trade in wildlife the attention it deserves as Kenya needs their assistance to save the elephant and the rhino from extinction. We have established robust anti-poaching measures across government, from stronger legislation to specialized legal mechanisms and upgrading enforcement. And we are resolved to ensure the survival of iconic species like the elephant and rhino. But let me state that no country can defeat the trade in illegal wildlife products alone. Global demand is strong enough and the poachers ruthless enough to require a joint, joint effort if our heritage is to be preserved. This is why I'm pleased that the high level di dialogue will consider these questions closely. I trust that your decisions will improve our understanding of this crime that focused and collaborative action to address demand will follow and that the prosperity and livelihoods of communities living close to wildlife preserves will receive urgent attention globally. President Kenyatta was speaking at the opening of the high-level segment of UNEA, which was also attended by His Serene Highness Prince Albert of Monaco and the President of the UN General Assembly, John Ash. I'm Angela Moirode for Capital TV.